Hi, and welcome to Keeping It 100 Medicine. I'm Dr. Danielle, a first year physical medicine and rehab resident. I graduated from the American University of Antigua, which is a Caribbean medical school, so I'm classified as an international medical graduate, IMG. I wanted to make a video on the match process because I remember how daunting it was. This is the ERAS, um, ECFNG pathway certification, as well as NRMP. So just to break it all down for you guys, this is what this video is for. So if you're interested, please keep watching. According to the AAMC, Association of American Medical Colleges, the ERAS application for the 2023 match will open on June 1st, 2022. As an international medical graduate, unfortunately, you will not be able to start your ERAS application until you get your ERAS token from ECFMG. I'm gonna insert a video on how to access your ERAS token, but basically your ERAS token will become available on June 28, 2022. And after you get that, then you can start your ERAS application. Okay, so now you're gonna to go to Google and type in Oasis ECFMG. And once you click on that, go to the Oasis button. Click on there and put in your USMLE ID and password information. From there, the next page will be your actual Oasis login information stuff. But basically click on the ERAS support services at the bottom left corner. And then that's gonna take you to this next page that says ERAS token request. Click on the ERAS residency token. And from there, once it opens up in late June, you're basically gonna be able to sign up and get your ERAS token. I think it takes like a couple days. And from there, you're gonna be able to um, sign up through ERAS. For the 2022 match, the ERAS token cost 155 US dollars. So just keep that in mind because you're gonna have to start saving up a lot of money for this whole um, application process. So basically your ERAS application looks like a CV and it also includes your personal statement, your letters of recommendation, your US only transcript, which is gonna cost you an additional $80, and um, your MSPE, uh, which is, MSPE is your medical school performance evaluation. It's basically like your school getting, giving you a letter of recommendation. It may include where you rank as a student, as well as comments from your attendings that you rotated with and any things you would like to highlight from your own CV. Please make sure that you reach out to your medical school and tell them that you're interested in applying if they have not already given you information regarding submitting the MSPE and sending your uh, class transcript. Applicants can start submitting their ERAS application on September 7th, 2022. However, residency programs will not be able to access your ERAS application until September 28th, 2022. So there's no need to really rush in submitting, honestly, because you have basically until that date for them to even open up your ERAS application. And the ERAS applications generally cost um, $99 for up to 10 programs. And beyond that, the cost honestly varies. When I applied for the 2021 match, I applied to only 150 programs and it cost $2,912. So honestly, please start saving because this whole application process is very expensive. Another component of this match process is ECFMG pathway certification. They started this in 2020 after they eliminated the step two CS exam. So there are six different pathways for IMGs to get certified. The first one is for applicants who have worked basically as attendings in their country. So they're working without any supervision. If they pass step two CS, they're clear to go to this first pathway. The second pathway is for applicants who have passed an OSCE exam in their country, which is basically similar to like a CS or clinical skills exam. Pathways three, four, five are basically for um, people who went to different medical schools that are, are approved by these specific governing bodies. I know my school, AUA, it was clumped into that three, four, five pathway section. And then pathway six is for applicants who do not meet pathways one through five, and they're required to take some sort of medical test per ECFMG. When you apply to the ECFMG pathway certification, you must have also taken your step one, step two, and OET exam. 
OET's occupational English test. Everybody's required to take that, whether you're a US citizen and your only language you speak is English, because that was me. So um, everybody's required to take it. It's basically checking your how you speak, uh, your listening, reading, writing. There's the different things that they're checking. It's really not a horrible exam if you have already mastered English and most people pass. So don't worry, just make sure that you do look at the OET website for the free samples that they have and just check on YouTube for the different videos. I can put some links below for the ones that I looked at as well. And just to note for that exam in particular, it was an English test, but it was like Australian English. So make sure that you do study for it because they do say some a few things different than what us Americans say. OIT exam costs 455 US dollars. So again, make sure you save up your coins as all these expenses just keep piling up when you're applying to residency. And you need to take in your step one, step two, and OET by December 31st, 2022 to qualify for ECFMG pathway. It takes some time to process, but basically ECFMG pathway certification must be submitted by January 31st, 2022 to be able to participate in the NRMP match and have your rank order list, all that stuff. So besides your ERS application and your ECFMG pathway, there is the NRMP, which is the National Residency Matching Program. Through the NRMP, that's where you submit your rank order list and that's where you actually have that whole match email situation going on. So you need to submit uh, or apply for the NRMP match in around mid-September 2022, and that costs $85 for up to 20 programs. If you go beyond that, I think it's an additional $30. And late registration fee, $50. So just keep that in mind when you're submitting all your ECFMG stuff, all other stuff. This is another component of money that's going to cost something. But then basically, um, your rank order list will be due in early March 2023. And then March 13th, 2023, that's when you find out if you matched or not. That's a Monday. That same week, Tuesday to Thursday, those who didn't match, but they were qualified through ECFMG pathway, they're able to go through the SOAP. I went through that personally and I actually made a video about what to kind of expect and what you should do to strategize to optimize your chances of matching through the SOAP. Um, but on that Friday, March 17th, 2023, that's when people find out where exactly they match to, the specific residency program. And for those unfortunately who are not able to match, they have to do like post SOAP scramble, out of match. I did that. And I made a video on ways to find residency positions outside of the match. But that's the whole match 2023 process as a whole. There is ERAS, ECFMG Pathway, NRMP. Those are the dates and the cost. The residency application process is quite a stressful time, but you can do it. Just put your best foot forward and plan ahead. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any additional questions or things that you would like in another video, please put them in comments below. My next video is gonna be on letters of recommendation. Have a blessed day.